right, so with our podcast tonight, we're going to look at the idea of molar mass. And molar mass defined is just what it sounds like. There's nothing tricky here. We've talked about moles in class already, and a mole is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd somethings. All right? So molar mass is simply the mass of a mole of something. All right? Just like its title is. So molar mass, when I put it in our notes, molar mass is the mass of a mole of something. Uh, we could have a mole of shoes. We'd have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd shoes. It would be a lot of shoes, probably more shoes than exist on the earth right now. But we can get the mass of anything. Mass really only applies, molar mass really only applies to atoms, which we're going to see here in a second, and possibly um, compounds. So we have three examples. If you look at lithium chloride on the top, there's no numbers. If we look at our second example, magnesium bromide, notice there's a 2 next to the bromine. And really that says for every two bromines, we have one magnesium. We're up on our top example. There are no numbers because it's simply a one-to-one -one ratio. All right? So in magnesium bromide, our second example, for every one magnesium, we have two bromines. And then obviously down at our bottom, we have several more numbers. And we'll get to that kind of whenever we, we get to that. But that's zinc nitrate. So as we go back up to our, to our top example, lithium chloride, um, we need to find the molar mass of things. So in order to do that, we are going to go look on a periodic table. All right. So um, and this kind of you should have picked this up from the packet we, packets we've already done in class. But as we look at carbon, it's kind of over here on the right. If you look at the number on the top right, it says 12.001, and that value really represents two numbers. It re represents both the atomic mass as well as the molar mass. The atomic mass is simply that number 12.011 or 011 with the unit AMU, all right, and that's atomic mass units, and that's what one atom weighs. However, if we have a mole of atoms, 6.2 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, it's that same value, 12.011, except it's going to have a mass of gram or a unit of grams. And grams is just something that we can actually weigh on a scale in the lab room, all right. Um, if we're talking about just the mass of sim simple atoms, there's no way we could get the mass of them individually. So as we go back to our first example, so as we go back to our first example, lithium chloride, we're simply just going to write lithium down, and then we're going to look on our periodic table. So we're here on the left, and we see that it weighs 6.941 grams. Okay, if we're talking about a mole of it. So if we're talking about a single atom, it would just be 6.941 6 AMUs. But we're always going to use molar mass. All right? And then we have, for every one lithium, we have one chlorine. So we also need to go look at the mass of a chlorine. We're going to simply add these two values together. So chlorine's on the far right-hand side. And it has a mass of 35.453. Again, our unit is grams. Because we're talking about molar mass, not atomic mass. And now we simply are going to use a calculator and add these two values up. So we're going to put 6.941 plus 35.453. We're going to find that it's 42.394 grams. Right, and that would be the mass of a mole of things. So instead of just leaving it grams, because our definition of molar mass is the mass of a mole of anything, we're really going to write grams per mole. And that just signifies that we're talking about a full mole, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, pieces of something. Okay, our next example is magnesium bromide. So we need to find the molar mass of magnesium atom. So we're going to write Mg real quick. And then go to our periodic table. Magnesium is over here on the left hand side again. We're going to see that it's 24.305 grams. Similarly, we're going to just jot down bromine. But now, 
we have two bromines for every one magnesium. So whatever the molar mass of bromine is, we need to multiply that by two. So bromine's over here on the right. We see that it's 79.904. Alright, 79.904 grams. And we're going to pull our calculator up again. And I'm just going to do 79.904 times 2. And then add 24.305 to that. We're going to see our answer is 184. 0.113 grams, and again, per mole, because we're talking about a mole of magnesium bromide. Right, so if we weighed that on a scale, it would have a mass of about 184 grams. Now our last example um, consists of three elements instead of just two. So we're going to jot these three down real quick. So we have zinc, um, we have nitrogen, and we also have oxygen. So as we go and look at our subscripts, we have one zinc, because there's not a number after it. So that just means we have one of them. So if we look at our periodic table, it's kind of here in the middle. We see that it's 65.39 grams. And then as we look over at the end of our compound, we have parentheses. And just like in math class, you're going to distribute. So what is our subscript for our nitrogen? It's really a 1, even though it's not written there. All right, so what is 1 times 2? It is 2, so we have two nitrogens. As we go to the periodic table, nitrogen's got up here at the top. It's 14.007, and that's grams. And then oxygen, as we go back over to our compound, we have two, or really three oxygens twice. So again, 3 times 2 is 6. And here, general chem students can sometimes mess up by adding. Um, I don't know why you add in math. Anytime you see parentheses, you multiply. Um, but that that is one place where you guys struggle. So and again, oxygen is 15.999 grams. So again, we're going to pull up a calculator. Uh, we're going to hit, let's see, 6 times 15.999. And then we're going to add that to, we're just going to do 2 times 14.07 in our head, which is 28.014. And add that to 65.39. We're going to get 189.398. There we go. 189.398 grams. And again, per mole, because we're talking about a full mole of zinc nitrate. Again, so that is molar masses. They're really easy to calculate. Um, if you have parentheses, distribute just like you do in math.